Are you a big fan of zombie movies? Have all the zombie movies that have been coming out just not been hitting the mark? They're just really weak, like the last season of The Walking Dead? Well, I have a plug-in that's going to fix it all for you guys. Check it out. All right, zombie lovers, today we are talking about the Sound Toys Decapitator. This is a classic. This is one of those plugins that has stood the test of time that I use all the time, and that is just a killer, if you know what I mean. Let's check it out. Come on. Let's decapitate right now. Let's go. Right here, I have Johnny Gillespie's Wide Awake. This song is either already out or is coming out soon, so uh, be on the lookout. My guy, Johnny Gillespie. All right, I'm just gonna play a little bit so you can kind of hear what the song sounds like. Stay wide awake, try to get up now. Wide awake, try to stay up now. Might be the end, my dear friend, is this the end? Stay wide awake, try to get up now. Wide awake, try to stay up now. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna show you is the Decapitator on vocals specifically. Um, I have his mixed vocal here, which I've already used Decapitator on, and I have his unmixed vocal. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and drag the Decapitator to his mixed vocal and show you what you can do. All right, so this is what the Decapitator looks like. It's by Sound Toys. They make some of the dopest, dopest, dopest effects plugins for mixing, mastering, producing. Uh, it's a must have. Um, they have a whole bundle. I recommend the whole entire bundle. Just save your money up and get the whole bundle because every single plugin in that bundle is amazing and I use it all the time. It's a classic, classic plugin set. You got to have it. It's not going anywhere. So, what is the Decapitator? Let's start with that. Decapitator is a distortion plugin. Obviously, you have your drive, just like a distortion pedal would have, and you have your mix, which is the wet versus the dry. You have an output knob, and then you have some tone knobs here, uh, low cut, high cut, and then you just have this overall dark and bright uh, tone knob here. Next, you have styles. So there are five styles in the Decapitator. A is for API, so this is API styled distortion algorithm. API is a very famous console making company um, that has a distinct tone. This was made in the 70s by uh, an American console company called API. They're, they're known for having very fast transient responses, being very warm and punchy. So that's kind of the API sound. Next you have E, which is what I'm using right now. It's selected to E. This E is for EMI. EMI is famous for uh, the Beatles, Abbey Road, uh, EMI Studios uh, use these great consoles called the Red Consoles, and that's what this distortion algorithm is um, based off of, off of these British consoles. Next, you have N, and also British, you have the Neve, the Neve style distortion algorithm, and that's also based upon 70s architecture of the uh, 80 series Neve consoles, and it has very uh, mid-forward sound when you think of Neve. And then the last two are guitar distortion algorithms. T is for uh, triode, and P is for pentode. So those are all the options that you have here. Um, I typically stick to the E for vocals, which is the EMI algorithm. That one's really good for vocals because it kind of puts kind of a woolly, fuzzy tone on the vocals, kind of smooths out the high end, all the sharpness, especially if you're using kind of cheesy Chinese capsule mics that uh, are kind of cheap sounding. You can kind of go for a more expensive tone uh, with a little bit of EMI distortion algorithm. Lastly, before I get out of uh, what you see here, you have an auto makeup gain option right here. You have a steep curve, which has to do with the high cut filter. It's changing the um, the slope of the filter, as well as you have this amazing punish button right here. And uh, this just makes the algorithm of the plugin go into full distortion. So 
Uh, if you're going for a crazy sound, if you want that full smash to bits sound that punishes what you got there. Uh, maybe you use it on like a subgroup of drums or if you want some really great crazy guitar tones you just go full on punish on it. So check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and solo Johnny's vocal. I'm gonna take off all his effects, make them a little more dry. One thing I recommend with vocals is that you don't punish the vocals, that you use it very slightly and very daintily for color and tone. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do, so. Stay wide awake, try to get up now. Wide awake, try to stay up now. Might be the end, my dear friend, is this the end? So don't do that. What I just showed you, don't do that. What I like to do is keep the drive at full and start to take it down until I meter right. And I'm really looking at the meters because I've gotten very used to this plugin. This plugin actually meters very similar to uh, analog, which is great. So if you go to the zero and above, you're going into full distortion. And I don't like that sound. So with vocals, I'll show you kind of where I like to keep it. Stay wide awake, try to get up now Wide awake, try to stay up now Might be the end, my dear friend, is this the end? Stay wide awake, try to... Okay, so right between um, negative 5 and negative 3 is kind of where I want it to meter um, And then also, I don't keep the mix all the way up I kind of do a parallel, wet-dry sort of thing and I usually go around, right around 50%, so check it out now. Stay wide awake, try to get up now. Wide awake, try to stay up now. Might be the end, my dear friend, is this the end? Stay wide awake, try to get... So you can see I'm uh, interjecting, like I said, a little sharpness, a little wooliness uh, to the high end. You know, this just goes with how much vibe you want to put in the vocal. Obviously, um, I've already mixed this vocal, so this has already been decapitated, if you're asking me. So I may not actually need this. This is actually kind of overdoing it a little bit. Something to keep in mind here too, is I do uh, touch kind of the tone section. Um, if you can see, I have the low cut all the way um, straight up. The low cut starts all the way here, and I take it all the way, maybe halfway. And that just kind of gets rid of the distortion in the low end, which causes kind of problems in your vocal, and you don't really want to distort the low end material because uh, I really like to hear clean low end, especially in things like 808s, if you're going to use this on 808, which I do all the time, if I need more uh, mid-range in the 808, so it translates to earbuds and smaller speakers and things, I'll use a distortion like this to get that sound out. The next thing you have is the tone, I'll just kind of show that. Stay wide awake, try to get up now Wide awake, try to stay up now Might be the end Might So I use this depending on how balanced the vocal is Now if I have a vocal that's like really muddy And, and uh, it's like someone recorded really close to the microphone like this Then uh, I'm going to take that tone more towards the bright side And it'll help, it'll actually scoop a little bit of the low end And then push a lot more into the high end and then lastly, you have this high cut. I really don't touch this unless I'm uh, like really adding too much sharpness, but at that point, then I, I probably would fix the other options within the decapitator to make sure I'm not getting too much sharpness. Um, this high cut does exist though, depending on uh, if you're say, you know, using it in maybe punish mode and you're doing like a drum subgroup and you're just getting too much high end distortion, you can kind of chop some of that out with the high cut. Another cool thing is the auto makeup gain. This is kind of uh, really important for when you're messing around with the drive, trying to get a tone, and you don't want to have to keep, you know, going back and forth between the output and the drive. It, it can become really annoying. Now, say this was a guitar pedal and you could have two hands on it, you know what I mean? That would be a lot easier to, you know, control. But, you know, as you only have one mouse, this, you know, that auto makeup gain just helps you kind of hear the tone and not necessarily have to worry about, you know, are you doing unity gain when the plugins on and off so stay wide awake try to get up now wide awake try to stay up now might be the end my dear friend is this the end stay so that's kind of the plugin i just want to maybe go over some basic recommendations but there's really not much to this this thing is a very simple plugin as far as my recommendations the neve mode is really great um, I do use that. Uh, I also own Neve, so I maybe don't use it as much as I need to. 
The Neve mode is really great on instruments, anything that you need kind of a more high mid cut to be more present in your mix. Instead of doing it with EQ, you can use this distortion to get it, like change the tone and that just kind of helps something that was maybe not recorded so good or something that with a lot of issues and it helps fix it more so than if you're thinking EQ, which is kind of swooping and cutting um, and making things sound a little bit more unnatural. This is more of a natural way to modify your tone of uh, even a recording. And then also you have the TNP, which is great for guitars. Now, if you're doing, um, you know, distorted guitars and you need just a little bit more crunch, this thing is what it's made for. API mode is great. Um, like I said, when I think API, I think drums. Uh, if you want to mess around with tones on drums, this thing is great. You could try any of the modes on drums, honestly. The API mode is also kind of my go-to for drums, but uh, you could use any of these modes on drums if you really want like a snare with like a really cool tone you could distort the snare and put it in you know pentone mode but this 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 plugin there is no uh one way to use it you can use it in multiple ways and it's really just to have fun with and explore so uh go ahead and try this plugin out i highly recommend it all right guys that does it for the decapitator make sure you like comment subscribe stay in tuned we have a bunch more plug in the weeks coming and we're going to cover some of the most classic plugins and also we're going to cover some fresh stuff that you may not know some secret weapons you have to tune in you have to understand what's going on because uh we're dropping game here we're not just showing off plugins that are cool we're showing off stuff we use all the time so uh we'll show you how to use it too but anyways smash that like button